Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be going over how much charge that you can get from a 1 at 10 outlet and whether this is going to be enough charge for you or not based on your own driving situation. So starting off here, you can see that my car is currently plugged in and charging. I have a 50 foot extension cord going from my porch out to my garage and then I'm plugged in to my Tesla using the travel charger that comes with your Tesla and you can see that I'm currently getting 5 miles of charge per hour of charging. And this is just plugged in to a standard 110 volt outlet. So now I'm going to bring up a calculator so we can do some math. So let's say you wanted to charge your car for an entire day, so a 24-hour period. If you had your car plugged in in this scenario, it would be 24 hours times 5 miles that you're getting per hour. And this comes out to about 120 miles that you can expect to charge your car in a full day. Now, this isn't going to apply to a lot of people because a lot of you are going to be going off to work, heading out of the house. So let's go over a more real world example. So let's say you get home from work at about 6 o'clock at night, 6 p.m. in the evening, and then you plug in your car. And then you're home until the next day when you wake up and head out to work at maybe 8 in the morning. So from 6 o'clock at night to 8 in the morning the next day. And this is probably going to apply to a lot of people. So this is about a 14 hour stretch that you could charge your vehicle. So let's do 14 times five miles per hour. And this comes out to 70 miles. So if you're traveling less than 70 miles per day on average, and you're plugging in when you get home in the evening, and then unplugging when you leave in the morning, if you're traveling less than 70 miles, then you should be good to go with just the charge that you're getting from a 110 outlet. And I hope these numbers are helpful so that you can apply them to your own situation so that you can figure out how many hours a day that you can plug in and charge it with a 110 outlet at your house. And then compare that number to how many miles that you're going to be traveling on average in a typical day. So then you use these numbers and if the amount that you're getting from a charge is higher than what you typically expend in miles traveled per day, then you would be good to go with a 110 outlet charging in those situations. But if you're putting on more miles to your vehicle than what you'd get in this instance, then I'd recommend upgrading the charging infrastructure at your home, or you can also utilize the Tesla supercharger network. So I hope this video was helpful. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing, and I'll catch you back here next time.